Now let's look at the polygonal lasso tool. It's here in the toolbar, just underneath the lasso tool. Its shortcut key is also L, and so if you're in the lasso tool and you hold your shift key down and press the L key, you cycle through all three of those that have the L as their shortcut key. So there's the polygonal lasso tool. Now I like this one just a little better than the regular lasso tool because I can be more accurate. So I'm going to zoom in very close on this witch hat here. and. I'll just start right there and I'll click but now as I drag you'll notice that it's dragging out a line with me and then I can click again and click again and so forth Now I'm running out of space here so I'm going to hold my space bar down that turns the tool into a hand tool which this does in any tool when you hold the space bar down and when you let go again you're back in the polygonal lasso tool so I can go quickly around the edge and, and just keep keep clicking and clicking Now you don't get any smooth curves here like you would with the pen tool but if you take smaller steps you can do a pretty close approximation again I'm holding down the space bar so I can move up a little more let go of the space bar so I'm back in the tool again and then I can just keep my space bar down. I'm pretty close to the top of the hat now. And then when I get to the very end you'll see that there's a little close circle right there. And so when you click at that point you've made your selection. And now you can do something with that selection. So, for example, if I want to change the color of the hat, I can add a hue and saturation slider, and you'll notice that the mask is has become the same as the selection, and so now I can turn it red or green or whatever, whatever color. I can take its saturation down or... Um, what have you but that's the key to a selection is you make a selection then you do something with that selection the polygonal lasso tool also has the same options as the other lasso tools so if I get my polygonal lasso and I say I want to make a triangle I don't have to close it off. I can double click at this point and it will draw a straight line. And then of course if I want to add to that selection I can get the add to icon or if I want to subtract from the selection I can get the subtract icon or if I want to do an intersection I can use the intersection and again the shortcut keys for those if you hold the shift key down that will be the same as adding in fact you can see it change right up here in the in the options bar if I hold the option or alt key down that changes it into a subtract and then if I hold both keys down that does the intersection and again we have a refine edge command just like in the regular lasso tool